everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and today I want to give a quick review of ScreenFlow 4, the newest update to the screen recording software for the Mac. And I'll actually now call it screen recording and video editing because they've added some features to this that now turns it into a pretty strong video editor as well. Uh, if you're somebody who's used to using iMovie, ScreenFlow may actually be a, a great replacement for that. And you can do both screen recording and your video editing in the same uh, program now. For version 4, ScreenFlow has added things like nested clips in your timeline, closed caption options, chroma keys, video and audio filters, and new output modules like MPEG-4. And uh, they've also added some organizational things that help uh, organize your media better. And it's just an amazing program, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm shocked at some of the changes that they've added to this program. It, it really is fantastic. So let's take a quick look at how this works. Now, I'm already running ScreenFlow, which is how I'm recording this right now, but typically what you would do to get a recording started is you would hit Command, Shift, and 2, and you'd see a countdown on the screen, which I can't really show you because I'm already running it. And if I hit those buttons, it'll stop the recording. But once, it, uh, once the countdown is on, you'll be able to start recording your, your voice using a microphone, whether it's the built-in microphone or a microphone that you have attached. And it also records whatever's on your screen. Now, if we take a look at the interface itself, if you've used previous versions of ScreenFlow, you'll recognize the layout. Uh, there's been a few visual changes, but for the most part, it, it remains the same interface that you're used to. Over in the properties menu, you'll see that you've still got your video properties, your audio properties, your screen recordings, your callouts, your annotations, your text, and your media. But you'll notice that there are some changes in here. Uh, in your media, you can actually zoom in and out of your media to get bigger and smaller icons. You can also go into a list view. And you'll also notice that when we select a piece of video here, that you've got a whole bunch of new video filters that you can choose from here, bump distort, circular warps, a whole bunch of different ones. You've got blurs, you've got stylizations, you've got color adjustments and color effects. So if you want to do anything interesting with your videos, you can do that. You can adjust the hue. So for instance, we'll choose that and you can see we can change that in any way that we want. And by hitting X, we can take it back to where it, where it was. So you've got those added in there and you've got color control sliders built right in so you can up the saturation if you'd like the brightness can be adjusted as well as the contrast so there's just a lot more control that you have over your image now if you're not familiar with screen flow and you haven't used it in the past or you've only used it casually, I want to show you some of the features that are in ScreenFlow 4 that actually have been in previous versions as well. And one is that ScreenFlow is dynamically able to understand layers such as this foreground window and the background window so that if you were to add what's called a callout property over here, okay, you can change this up here to foreground window and you can see that it knows that this window is separate from the background so you can actually adjust that so if you want to make your window here more noticeable than the background you can do that afterwards you can also add a blur to the background so that your foreground stands out even more and you can adjust the opacity up and down for that also you can zoom that window make it bigger and you can also add a border around it a little bit. You can add an outline. So if we were to put 10 here, you can see it does that. Just different ways to call out that particular window so that if you are using, for instance, a piece of software and you've got different windows open, you can highlight that specific window. Very, very interesting feature. You can also add a shadow to it to make it really stand out. And it just brings the foreground window to life so that you can really highlight what you're trying to show to people. And that's just one of the really interesting features. Now what really makes ScreenFlow 4 stand out from past versions of the program are some of the new editing features that they've added to the program. You can actually do more advanced editing with your timelines than you have in the past. For instance, if you had uh, multiple pieces of video, such as 
we have here. We've got multiple pieces of video strung together, but we don't want to work on them separately. We can actually pre-compose them into a nested clip. Now when we do this, we hit the nested clips button, which is the uh, option command N or from the drop down menu here, nest clips. You can see it turns it into a nested clip. Now the great thing about these nested clips is that it allows you to work with all of them at once. In the past, if you wanted to, let's say, zoom in on a certain area of the screen, and we'll go to our nested clip tab here. So if you wanted to be able to zoom in on a certain area, and you were to resize this, like so, and maybe even zoom in it a little bit more, so you wanted to zoom in on this particular area of the screen here, you could do so, but the problem is, as soon as you hit that edit, it bounces right back. So by having a nested clip, you can actually, if we go back and reset this to where it was, if you go back to our default, now if we do the same thing here, it's going to affect all of these in the same manner. And also if we were to do a video effect on these. So for instance, we added a filter such as, oh, I don't know, let's see, let's do a stylize here. If we were to do a crystallize effect for whatever reason, who knows why you would want to do that, it's going to do that throughout the entire presentation and not just the one clip that you are working on, which is the way it used to work before. So that is a great new feature that they've added to ScreenFlow 4. Okay, going back to features, one of the great new features that has been added to ScreenFlow 4 is the ability to do green screening or chroma keying right inside of uh, the program. And this is great if you're really trying to do some very cool presentations. So what I've done here is I'm actually going to move this timeline down and create a space here above that. And I've imported a piece of green screen footage here, which I'm going to bring into the program. I'm going to drop it here and undistort it a little bit here. Resize it, and we're actually gonna go bigger so that we're not seeing the edges there. Now I chose this particular piece of footage because, to be honest, it's not the most well shot uh, chroma key footage. You can see there's some variations in color here he's uh, you know he's very orange um, but it's a great way to test this out so what you're going to do here is you're going to go to your video effects and you're going to go to your filters and up at the very top is the chroma key filter I'm going to hit add and actually look at that right away uh, I didn't even really have to do much adjusting you can see there's a little bit here that we'll have to adjust on but for the most part it did a pretty good job. So we just change the tolerance there. And there we go. So once he's been added in there, we can actually make adjustments to him. And you can do that right here. Maybe bring down the saturation will be enough to, uh, to make him look a little bit more normal. Like so. Uh, we can also bump the brightness down and up a little bit. Maybe put it there. And adjust the contrast just a touch. And you can see, now he's looking pretty good. Now the great thing about this is you can actually uh, move him about. You can resize him uh, right over your presentation. So this is just a great new feature that they've added, which, to be honest, really kind of blew my mind that they added this into uh, this program. But it, it allows you to do some really dynamic presentations. So there you have it. That's ScreenFlow 4 in a nutshell, and it really is a fantastic program for not only screen capturing, but now for doing most of your basic and even advanced editing features. So if you're looking to create dynamic presentations, I, I really don't know of any other software that does all the things that ScreenFlow does, especially if you're comparing it to other screen capture softwares. So this is highly recommended. And uh, if you'd like to get a copy, feel free to click the button below this video and that will take you right to the page to uh, pick up a copy. It runs for $99 and it is worth every single penny.